Hello guys, this is H from H Tutorials 101 and today I just want to show you some uh, really cool applications that you would uh, use in uh, your filmmaking and these applications uh, are available on the iPad so let's get started VisioPrompt uh, is basically a teleprompter that allows you to enter text and it should play it on the screen and this stuff is really really useful for uh, say live broadcasts or if you uh, or you know you can use it as a script you know as a backup as your uh, your actor is talking uh, he could refer to the iPad uh, instead of you know cutting the video and having to look over the script and then retaking another take so uh, just you have to tap it and you enter a title so for this one I'm gonna call it test and for the bottom one let's say Hello, this is a test. So we're going to save it and then we are going to press on it and it's going to tell you to start. You could edit and you could copy or you could delete it. So let's go ahead and start it. As you could see, uh, you know, it scrolls up and scrolls down. And if you bring your finger, you could actually um, move it up and down yourself, you know, speed it up and slow it down. So it's that easy. Uh, it's uh, it's available for free from the App Store. It's called Visio Prompt. Next up, we have the National Film Board uh, Pick uh, Pick to Stop. I think uh, it's it's basically an application uh, that allows you to create stop motion films. And uh, all you have to do is basically create a new film. But I have a quick one for you guys to show you. So basically, once you load it up, uh, you basically take pictures. You could set it up on, uh, say, a mount, and you could take pictures, and then, uh, you know, you get to adjust the frame rate. So let's say for this one, let's have it on 11. The, recommend, the recommended frame rate for these stuff are like 24, but uh, I don't have a lot of pictures on here, so I'm going to keep it on 12. So let's show you a quick demo on how this works. Uh, of course, you could also add uh, music, so let me go ahead and add uh, a song right here. So once you're done, you click on the music and then you head over to the timeline and we play it. Last night I said we so it's basically that easy. All you have to do is take pictures of what you're doing and it basically stacks them up and you could obviously move uh, a frame from one place to another so it's really easy all you have to do is just frame per frame but this application makes it really easy for you to actually use it and actually create frames so as you can see here this is supposed to man manipulate an explosion you know it goes to black and then we see the boom and then we see the smoke and we pan over to the pencil so it's this this application is really easy to use. Uh, of course, to create a film, all I have to do is click on the button, and you click on the camera button, and you start taking your pictures, and it shall compose it all into the timeline. Next up, I have here is called Marker Slate. Now, this is a slate, um, a really cool slate where it allows you to, uh, you know, mark your videos. But uh, instead of making the clapper noise that most of them do, this actually makes a, a film, like a beep sound that can be familiarized with your camera or your audio. So uh, let me show you. We raise up. So it shall flash and it will make a noise like you get eyes just heard. So this uh, it's really cool. All you have to do is just double tap and you get to you know to use it. Say test production your role, your scene, your take, and uh, you get to say if it's day or night, uh, and uh, you can add in some notes if you want to at the bottom here. And uh, you could have other bunch of stuff on here. And of course you could change the sound from the tone to the clap. So, oh, oh and of course you could also invert the display so if you don't want the, 
the black on white, you can have it white on black. And um, you could also have it to invert the slate once you uh, once you basically you tap the sound. So let me just show you a quick example. So one, that's the clap, and as you can see, it inverted into the different color. So uh, I'm gonna put that back up to the tone, and of course you could also lock the slate so that you can't basically edit. So now I'm tapping everywhere, and you can't edit. But all you can do is that. So it's that easy, uh, really easy to use. Another app I have here, some of you may know, is called Avid Studio. Uh, it's basically a, a better version of iMovie, if you ask me. Um, everyone, basically the uh, the professionals, they use Avid Media Studio on both PC and Mac, and uh, they use Avid to create really good films. And uh, so basically they've uh, moved over their Windows version which is the Avid Studio which is basically like iMovie but for Windows so they basically moved it over to the iPad and you get to create uh, movies uh, home movies so you have your uh, photos songs transitions uh, your montages and of course your text so it's really easy to use I also have another video um, showing you guys a review of this so I'll also be sure to show you that one too. Uh, I guess that's it for my uh, film stuff. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you guys like it, thumb uh, you know thumbs it up, or uh, you know leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, I'll leave down uh, in the description the links where you can be able to download these applications. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.